how's everyone doing? Uh, this video goes out to Ted Dabney, uh, the co-founder of Atari, and um, uh, he died of cancer. Uh, there on May twenty sixth, eighty one years old. It's a great age, you know. Um, we hope I'm still going at eighty one. Uh, uh, nineteen thirty seven to two thousand eighteen. Rest in peace, Ted Dabney. You know, this this he co-founded Atari with Nolan Bushnell, two hundred fifty dollars each, and Atari is born. You know, um, this guy was an engineering genius. Um, he was he um built the first uh, arcade pong unit. Um, well, that's all there is to it. You know, um, you know, um, now Nolan Bushnell and Alan Alcorn took the spotlight and got most of the popularity and the money out of Atari but without Ted Dabney there would be no Atari and he is uh, a genius as well and you know I'm sure Nolan Bushnell and Alan Hacker would say the same thing you know but uh, re um, respect that's all there is to it you know uh, Pong um, was a was a a simple concept game, but it took off because it was fun. That's what Atari is in a nutshell. Simple, fun, innocent. There's no blood, violence, no sex. It was just awesome video games and entertainment. You know, now things are different with video games. Like, video games have to have blood, gore, sex, all these adult themes. You know, uh, now. If you're an adult, no problem. But for a, a child, you know, no, no way. I mean, I wouldn't expose a child to that, you know. And Atari is great because anyone can pick up a game and play it and have nothing to fear. And that's what, uh, that's another thing I love about Atari. I'm a 40 year old man, you know, and, and a lot of people have said to me, video games are just for kids. You know what I mean? Aren't you a bit old to play video games? And they say, what's the harm in it? Uh, uh, you know, we say we enjoy playing video games. And my nephew play, enjoys playing video games. We pl play games together and we enjoy it. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the people that... In, we, we, we explain to some people, you know, that don't understand it. Because they don't, they're not, they don't like video games, you know. And they're sort of looking down their nose at me. You know what I mean? And... I think that's wrong. Like no one should do that to anybody else. You know what I mean? Okay, if someone disagrees, fine. You know, but you don't have to make you feel bad about yourself or or try to put you down for something that you like or for something that you love doing. Once you're doing no harm to anybody else, that's it. You know, but a lot of people don't understand that. You know, because it's something they don't understand and they don't particularly like. Not everybody, but some people do. And I've, I've met a, a, a couple of people like that in my lifetime. Very narrow-minded people. But that's the way it is, you know. So, yeah, like I said, um, if it wasn't for Ted Dabney and Nolan Bush and Atari, you wouldn't be into video games. It's just as simple as that. And we, um, the people say to me, don't you get bored playing them, them video games, especially Atari, especially Atari video games. Because they're so basic and it's basically the same thing over and over again. Well, every game nowadays is pretty much the same thing over and over again. When it's changed, the concept of video games today is based on what Atari and others have done in the past. They just have they're just more real with better graphics. And sometimes the, the controls of games nowadays can be a bit complicated. You know what I mean? Because like, we are older brother Patrick. We... He played video games in the past with the Sega Mega Drive and with the, with the Atari 2600, with the Atari 2600, and found them games easier to play because it's just one button. There's nothing complicated about it. Where he can't, he, he now he tried playing the Call of Duty and Gears of War. He just can't. He thinks it's too complicated. So that's it. But we like modern games and retro games. You know, we can play both, but we prefer retro games. If someone was to ask me, John, which do you prefer? I'd say retro games, because that's what I grew up with, and that's what I have the most fun with. 
Well, we grew up at a time before internet, before online multiplayer. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. We we play online multiplayer all the time with people from around the world, and sometimes I see fans I haven't seen in a long time. You know, uh, now everyone has a made up name on the internet, so no one can be tracked down or no one can be isolated. So it's all anonymous. It's all anonymous, and I understand that because there are a lot of weirdos out there, you know, that like to track people down and do fucked up things. You know, so we understand that. I mean, no way in hell would I, if we had a child, like like my nephew, like he's only six years old. I would never let him play an online game. He's too young. You know what I mean? I mean, I let him play my Atari games because it's innocent. There's nothing to it. But now. Connor has played for the Horizon 3. We let him play that game. I let him play car games. Because I know there's going to be nothing really violent in it. But, um, uh, now, most of the time, we, uh, we have people muted because I don't want them hearing what people are saying, of course. And, or, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to keep him as innocent as possible. Now, eventually, he will come across things. Uh, he, he will come across these things himself. You can't protect him forever. forever. Same as me, I was always exposed in one way or another. But we're trying to keep him as innocent as possible because it is a fucked up world out there. You know, it, and online is a dangerous place because people try to dry it out and suck it in. And Now, not everybody. There are a lot of good people as well out there, but the majority of people I'm from out here are weirdos. So we, we, we understand that it's anonymous. But back in the day, with my friends in the room, you know, or uh, stay in their house, brothers, sisters, we play the games together. They were fun games. Because there's no course and there's none of that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, um, I just want to talk about that. You know, and um, never let anyone put you down. If you like something and it's doing no harm to anybody else, just keep doing it. If, if you like playing chess, whatever. If you like sound stuff, if you like collecting coins, whatever. Don't let anyone tell you you're you're different or you're stupid for doing that. Because we've had people over the years saying to me, them video games are, are going to turn into a, a killer. They're going to do this and that. Well, they haven't. You know what I mean? But a lot of people, there are some people out there that can't uh, um, separate separate video games from reality and they act them out and do fucked up things. We understand that. Yeah, video games do have some influence on the weak minded people that are messed up in the head. So that's the risk, you know. When like in America you see all these shootings and you know basically the, the person is messed up. You know what I mean? Whether or not he played video games or whatever. You know in America all these shootings and I feel bad for the people that, that suffer at the hands of mentally sick people like this or people that know full well what they're doing. They're just fucked up individuals, you know. Now, they're like that anyway. You know what I mean? But people sometimes do take what they see in the video game and, and they do not in real life. But they're fucked up in the head anyway. But anyway, um, I hope that never happens to my, my nephew. I doubt it. But uh, who knows? That ain't going to happen. <laughs> so sorry about that. I mean, that, these are just my opinion on things, you know. Like if you like or disagree, whatever, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, this this is this is a call out to Ted Dabney, rest in peace. You know you 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 um, doing great for video games, great man. You know great genius. Didn't do anything wrong. And I, I, I hope we, we live to eighty one and we get to contribute at, at some level. You know, you know. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll continue playing Atari games until the day we do it. Cause I love it. I love it. It's a it's a legacy. It's gone over forty years. I know we grew up with Atari, and the fact that Atari is still going in some way, shape, or form makes me happy. You know, and the fact that the Atari VCS is coming out next July two thousand nineteen is brilliant. You know, yeah. But that's still up in the air whether that's going to happen. But we think it will. You know, despite the people saying to me it's a scam. I don't think so. I think this is going to come out. I have my receipt from Indiegogo, July 20, 2019. The backers on Indiegogo are going up, and the, the, the money raised is, is like $2.867 million. So, 
yeah, um, we can't wait to get it. You know what I mean? And I found out that the Atari VCS is going to be on Ubuntu. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's an operating system and it's going to allow allow emulation. Now, I didn't read the whole Wikipedia thing, but that's what it means. So, yeah, I mean, I can't wait to get the Atari VCS and Atari will continue. You know what I mean? You know, uh, you know, now they have done shady stuff in the past, Atari, you know, they're not, they're not angels, they're just like any other company, but the hours of at the time they give me when I was a kid in Mosny, and now I'm sharing it with Connor, the games, the entertainment, that's what we focus on, you know. But, you know, the Atari VCS, it could be a smouldering point of sweet, which is what everyone thinks it's going to be. But not everyone does. Some people are on are, are, are my sort of things. They think what I'm thinking. That grew up with Atari and they've shown too much of it to be a scam. They've shown what the operating system's going to be. People actually held it. You know? And yeah. Long way away from seeing what happened. But I think it's going to happen. Atari is going to continue. I doubt they'll be the juggernauts they once were. But I hope, I hope that happens. You know what I mean? You know, because... I say Microsoft, all the companies, Sony, Nintendo, they all show respect to Atari. Now, they may not say it out loud, but I say they do. Deep down, they do, because they know the industry wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for Atari, you know. Ted Dabney, Nolan Bushnell, they, Ralph Baer with the, with the Magnavox Odyssey, all these men are uh, engineering geniuses, and they started the whole concept off, but it was Atari that got a popular Atari, Interchangeable characters. It wasn't just one game. You can a variety of games. It got programmers, the best in the business, to make okay games are sim crew today. But the concept of these games are in games today. Now that's what we believe. We play these games today for as a Call of Duty. We can see similarities in in pre in past games. Now we don't know. Call me a madman. You know what I mean? But games today are repetitive and. You basically do the same thing over and over again, just with better graphics and sound, you know. But that's what makes it great. But uh, I do miss the innocence, the innocence stuff the video games had, you know. The like Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, um, the, uh, you know, um, you know, Afterburner, brilliant games, you know. Uh, Hang On, Outrun, uh, Peril Drift. Uh, you know, um, really stuff. Noi Driver, Asteroids, Missile Command, Pole Position, Spy Hunter, all these amazing arcade games. Brilliant. And most of them powered well to the Atari 2600. And every console has Atari games on it. Say Mega Joy, PS2, GameCube. Because they all respect Atari for what they've done. Now, maybe they don't, but I think they do, you know, because it makes money Atari, and, and everyone knows that. So, uh, that's the end of this video. I just want to make a, a, quick, a quick tribute to Ted Dabney, and everyone else out there should, whether, whether you, you like Atari or you don't, respect. That's, uh, this man earned it, and he deserves it. Now, I don't know much about this man's history or what he's done in his past. He could be an out now scumbag for all I know. I don't know, but all I know is that he's an engineering genius, and if it wasn't for him, Atari wouldn't be Atari. It's just as simple as that. Now, uh, you just can now. Uh, well, I'm gonna do my research on Ted Dabney just to see what his background is and all that. But uh, maybe he was a scumbag. I don't know, but all I know is that the like, Nolan Bushnell took most of the popularity, most of the credit, and was in the spotlight a lot more. Now, maybe he wanted it that way, or Ted Dabney just didn't like the spotlight, I don't know. But he deserves it every bit as much as Nolan Bushnell and Alan Alcorn. I mean, so, um, that's the end of this video. Uh, uh, I'll touch you all later. So, uh, rest in peace, Ted Dabney. And, uh, like, um, uh, I'll see you all later. If you want to comment on anything, if you have any suggestions yourselves, what do you think about video games, like, which do you prefer, retro or modern, or both? I, prefer, I like both, but if someone asks me, John, which do you prefer, I prefer retro games, you know? Uh, uh, 
Atari 2600, Sega, Sega Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, you know, uh, fucking PS1, PS2, you know. Now, for me, when it reaches the original Xbox, that's the end of the retro stuff for me, you know. Uh, you know, when the Xbox 360 came out, that's when the new generation online multiplayer going forward, you know. So, so from the Xbox 360 to now with the Xbox One, the PS4, we, we consider that um, modern gaming. Whereas the, the original Xbox GameCube going back N64, all that is retro games. In, that's how we see that, in my opinion, you know. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. If he's there watching, I don't think he's there. And, uh, you know, um, here's a Ted Dabney, you know. And I say Atari will continue on until I'm dead. You know what I mean? And when I'm dead, it'll, it'll, Atari will continue. Well, I hope it does. we well, probably won't, but I think it will, you know. And the Atari VCS will be out and will show everybody that like, it was awesome. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I think it's going to be... It's gonna survive. It's gonna uh, over time. It'll be uh, it'll get more games and stuff. Even if they are only emulated games, whatever. I think it'll survive. It'll do well enough to keep going. You know. So, uh, I'll see you later. It was th thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Take care and bye bye.